Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hi, everyone. Hey, I got my cohort here, yeah. Tanya and Gizmo back here. Let me show you what we're gonna do today. So we have had several days of rain. This is where we cleaned up last week. And today we're gonna work uh, across the road and we're going to work on Tanya's chicken. what do you call it? My spa retreat. So we got Miss Tanya here and, and our cohort, Gizmo the dog. This is what we're up against. This is a absolute mess. Now I'm just gonna walk down the side of the road here and you can see how thick, this is just all vines and saplings. Uh, and this is basically the same exact way it was on the other side of the road. And this is gonna be further in here. It's not gonna be right beside the road, but it's gonna be Tanya's. My chicken spa retreat. Our chicken spa, spa retreat. retreat. <laughs> Listen guys, her chickens live better than most people do. They're just loved. Yeah, so we've, we've made a couple of attempts to get in here. Nothing, no, no real, you know, no, no real effort, but you know, we've cut a few little pieces back, just kind of to poke her head in there. Now I will say this, there are some dead trees uh, that we're gonna pay close attention to. Definitely a widow maker. Yeah, we get up there close enough to it, we can cut it down with a chainsaw. There's some blackberries too. We're back out here the next day. We literally walked out yesterday, got the cameras out, put the mini clip on, put the uh, stump grinder on and the wood chipper on, and it started raining again. So Tanya and I are making mad dashes back to the truck with the cameras to keep them from getting wet. And today, there's still a little standing water around, but hey, we're gonna go clean that mess up. Yay. Yay, she says. All right, let me tell you our plan. So in, in the past, what we've been doing is taking and cutting down the little trees and pushing them off in the gully. Well, the gully, the little gully we got up here is pretty well full. So we're gonna start taking pieces off at a time. We're gonna leave the big trees for today because the, you know, we're just trying to try to clear out and see what's back here. It is so thick, we really don't know what's back there. So we're gonna take the mini clip and the chainsaw and just start nipping the little stuff out of the way, clearing it, and then we're butt. Instead of putting it off in the gully, we're bringing it over here to this workstation. We've got the T474 set up and the wood chipper set up right here. So we're gonna take the T25 with the grapple 
and as we clip it off, we're gonna bring it around here and then run it through the wood chipper and we're gonna make a big giant pile of organic mulch here because at this location where the camera's setting is gonna be our travel trailer and it could be here for like a year and a half while we build our house. So what first we wanna do is come in here, clear this land off, level it, and then we're gonna take that big pile of mulch and put all over it so it's not a big mucky mess until we can do better. Hey, I'd like to thank High C for sponsoring our video. High C makes outstanding work boots like these steel toe shoes here that we've worn quite a while now. These are my favorite work boots that I believe I've ever owned. Uh, they also make tactical pants that I'm wearing right now with the pockets and, and the rip stop in the pants. I really love those too. They make a, a, a broad line of outdoor shoes and wet weather boots. Just tons of things that are just so useful. We wear this stuff. I'll leave a link to their description or to their website in the description of this video. Uh, they offer a 20% discount if you use code TONY20. So check them out. Listen, I would like to thank Hi C again for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to work. I guess is what they call it this stuff is tough and it's been dried for a while so hopefully it will go on through or it may have just got even harder because it's because it is dried it's really difficult to get in because these limbs they don't go out, or they, they go way out. And then they're not strong enough to push them in. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the chainsaw out here. So we're gonna have to get the chainsaw out and cut these limbs off in a more manageable way. They just uh, literally are, uh, I can't, that can't work with them the way they are. That, uh, that is uh, iron wood. It did go through the chipper well, but Man, it, those limbs go way off to the edges. Does this one have spikies? Uh, no. I don't know if this old COVID's ever gonna give up. My voice is going out again. So I haven't started this in probably, probably three months. Oh, is that that little one? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. You used a big one though. Yeah, I used a big one, but I hadn't used a little one. This is perfect for the little one right here. They use good fuel. everything's this ironwood stuff it's a pain in the butt to to chip up but it's good mulch all right let's see if that works out a little better There's no poo here.
that's a pretty good piece right there. Yeah. Pretty thick. I don't know if it'll do it. Now you have to cut it back down tomorrow. I missed a limb. It's gonna tell the story here. That's, that's pretty good size. Try to get all this stuff off. Briars. I, I thought it was just a vine. It's actually briars. Big red went right through it though. Mm -hmm. uh, that was that was pretty much the max size for this chipper. Yeah. I think the big red could handle the six inch chipper versus this four inch. Well, we're gonna be a lot of chipping in the near future. Yeah. Well, let me get this. This is mucky mess out here. So we got the mini clip remote here and I put it around the steering wheel most of the times, but I had somebody else earlier say, hey, why, why can't you put it around the, you know, the third function and you could do it like this. It's just, I think because it's just basically my particular uh, loader control has got a taper and it wants to fall down. So it's really not handy. So what I do is I hold my hand here and work these controls and then I'll, I'll work this control with my left hand as I'm driving. Seems to work out. This little stump right here is a little bit too big for the grapple. It says seven inches, and that's probably about nine or ten. So. Boy, it's muddy. I'm going to have to make sure that I have a good standing before I start cutting. Big chainsaw out too. Yeah, this is pretty much too small for what I just did, but I don't want to go up here and get chainsaw for just that one. Most of this stuff's gonna be perfect for this. So you're gonna cut those over there? All those are gonna be with a mini clip, but right now I'm gonna come in and clean all this up with a grapple. I'll take stump grinder, knock this down, take stump grinder, knock that down. So we, we'll just start working our working our way back in. Right. Like we always do. One bite at a time. And one briar at a time. One briar at a time. There you go. <laughs>
me for. Take this to the gully. So that's why I love that mini clip because I, I'm not even broke a sweat. I'm not even in the bushes. Uh, and I'm able to just reach in and clip a bunch of these trees off. Now I'm gonna go get the little tractor and bring them over and put them to the wood processor. Let's just drive down right there. I'm, I'm gonna clean up a little as we go. I know, but I can see you better video. Well, we'll, we'll come back after. Okay. I said I cranked it up and the smoke of the tractor blew at him. He goes, he snarled at me. Let's see if he do it again. <laughs> the idea of moving didn't even cross his mind. He's gonna snarl at me. That's solid. I'm gonna that make a. Either? It's solid. I'll make a post out of that. Cut okay. the. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and cut it off now. That's just kind of cool at the end up there. Never mind. I'm out. gonna make sure that it's solid. That. That might be a post right there. But I think that's cedar, ain't it? It is cedar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, cedar lasts forever and as a post. Ah, uh, don't cut it with a chainsaw. You're well, I ain't got no choice. Your lurch of cedar, remember. I'd say it's solid. Put your chicken house on it. I think there is a uh, hole on the bottom in it. Bunch of ants, but it'll still last for a hundred years. Put fast 2K around that, put it in the ground.
Yeah, that, that post right there would last probably the rest of our lives and then some. Ruined a black ant's nest though. Yeah. Bless your hearts. He's gonna like the smell of it either. You don't like it, buddy? I don't know what that post be good for. Put my birdhouse on it. Could. Bird yeah. feeder. Because once you put it like a few feet into the ground, you know. I you can probably make a chicken stand out of it and like, you know, base and have like different um, limbs hanging off of it, like, you know, for them like to climb on. Well, we could put this in the ground, like beside our bench and put a tabletop on it or something. Yeah. Like put her, we got to have someone put sweet tea. But even if we use that and put like a couple logs here and there and hang it off of it, like, you know, like in a jump, will you stop? Mm -mm. Jump off of them? You know, that'd be kind of cool too. So I've never been really allergic to cutting with a chainsaw because the chunks are big. It's just, I don't think I ever got, I had any allergic reactions to cedar is when I cut it with a sawmill in the fine dust. But I'm allergic to it too, still. So. You need to go home then. I don't like, I mean, cedar just don't like me. Mm. But yeah, this is kind of cool. Even this part is kind of neat if we clean all that up right here. Pressure wash it all? Yeah, that'd be kind of neat. It's full of ants right now. I mean, well, you have to wait till they're all gone, but. Is that poison? Um, what are you gonna do with it though? They make a really cool garden piece. Turn around upside down? Well, like this, and you have it hanging like this. Like, it's just I seen a couple of things. People had it looked like something. This right here, and like a coral kind of the ocean kind of thing. If you turn it upside down, really. I'd fall on it and stab myself. Probably. All right, let me get all this out of the way. Yeah, get at it. There's another big piece of cedar over there too. Gotta clean my chicken area. Place to run. I'm gonna go out that way. I'm gonna lay that tree and top right here. Looks like it's gonna be okay there. doing that I hate messing with them dead things especially with the vines up there because they can pull limbs off of other trees that you don't see I felt pretty good about that little tree right there it's pretty pretty much alive so no harm no foul but I still don't like it and you can't make me
So this is probably about five hours of work here. It looks really good. We've got a lot of stump, pretty much everything from there to here. We've cleared, we've cleared the stumps. Now we'll use a, the grapple to get the little stuff up. And then eventually after this dries out, we'll run the flail mower over all this and mulch every little thing up. Um, this is awesome. I mean, the mini clip, the wood chipper, and the flail mower as a unit, and the grapple obviously is really good. This is awesome. Listen, we're gonna call it right here. The bird's ready to go home. It's 6 p.m. Gizmo's ready to go home. I'm ready to go home and Tanya's ready to go home. God bless, have a great day.